In the early hours of June 14, 2017, a tragedy unfolded in the heart of West London. Grenfell Tower, a 24-storey residential building located in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea, was consumed by flames in one of the deadliest fires in modern British history. The Tower Part of the Lancaster West Estate was designed in the brutalist architectural style of the late 1960s. Construction had been completed by 1974. Originally comprised of 120 flats, the building had undergone transformations over the years, eventually housing 129 apartments. It stood as a home to vibrant, diverse community, with up to 600 residents calling the Grenfell Tower their home. It was at 54 minutes past midnight when the first emergency call was made. Yeah, hello, hi, in the fire, flat 16 Greenfield Tower. So we have fire where? Uh, so we have flat 16 Greenfield Tower, in the flat, fridge. Right, hang on. Flat 16 Greenfield Tower. Flat 16, and what's the postcode? Uh, W111TG. W111TG. Tango. Yeah, but can you quick, please? Yeah, would you just, I have to get the address, okay, Glen Flat 16 Greenfield Park, W111 TG. The fire brigade are on their way. Are you outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm outside. Yeah, well, the fire engines are on their way. Just tell me how many floors you've got there. It, it's it's the fourth floor. Right, okay. Uh, quick, 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 quick. They're on their it's way burning. already. Yes, I know it's burning, but they are on their way. You've only just the called, as long as you're okay. Yeah? Okay. A refrigerator on the fourth floor had developed an electrical fault, sparking a fire that would soon engulf the entire tower. The flames, aided by a flammable exterior cladding and an insulation system that did not meet safety standards, ascended rapidly creating a towering inferno. The fire brigade was swiftly on scene, with more than 250 firefighters and 70 engines from stations across London battling the blaze. They were joined by over 100 medical crews from the London Ambulance Service and specialised paramedics from the Hazardous Area Response Team. The Metropolitan Police and London's Air Ambulance also supported the rescue efforts. Within 24 hours the fire was finally under control, but it would be more than 60 hours before it was fully extinguished. The human cost was devastating, 72 lives were lost, with many more injured. The fire marked the UK's deadliest structural incident since the Piper Alpha disaster in 1988 and the worst residential fire since World War II. As the nation struggled to come to terms with the magnitude of the disaster, questions arose. How had a fire of this nature occurred in the 21st century? What were the failures in management, regulation and the response that allowed this tragedy to happen? The building had been managed by Kensington and Chelsea London Borough Council and the Kensington and Chelsea Tenant Management Organisation KCTMO. Investigations would delve into their roles along with those of the London's Fire Brigade, government agencies and the companies involved in the building's refurbishment. In the aftermath, the government acted. A task force was set up to take over the council's functions and an urgent review of the fire safety procedures for cladding on similar towers was initiated. An independent review of building regulations and fire safety led to a report in May 2018, revealing a systemic failures and setting in motion a series of reforms. Internationally, the fire prompted governments to investigate buildings with similar cladding. In the UK, a pledge of 200 million was made to replace the combustible cladding on the residential towers, a process that continues to this day. The Grenfell Tower Inquiry was established to investigate the causes of the fire and related issues. Its first phase report, released in October 2019, confirmed the non-compliance of the building's exterior with regulations and criticised the fire service's delayed evacuation advice. The second phase of the inquiry began on the third anniversary of the fire in 2020 with hearings concluding and a final report anticipated in autumn 2023. This report will be pivotal in the decision of whether criminal charges will be brought by the Crown Prosecution Service. 
In April 2023, a landmark civil settlement was reached with 900 people affected by the fire, involving 22 organisations including Arconic, The Cladding Company, Whirlpool and several government bodies. The Grenfell Tower remains a poignant reminder of the importance of rigorous building safety standards and the need for accountability and justice. It stands as a symbol of loss, but also as community resilience and the enduring quest for answers and change. As we reflect on the events at Grenfell Tower, we remember not just the sorrow and pain, but also the strength and unity that emerged from the ashes. The legacy of those lost in the fire continues to drive a national conversation about the safety, housing and the dignity of every human being's right to secure a home. May the memory of Grenfell serve as a beacon for future where such disaster never occurs again. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching and listening. Please comment on the YouTube video, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll be sure to reply to your comments. Thank you.